Well, I'm standing in the middle of southbound Interstate 65 between Elizabethtown and Lebanon Junction. Road crews are helping these cars and trucks become unstuck one by one so they can get things moving again. But it's been a long night and a long day. Terrible. Terrible. That's how Michael Bailey described his night. He, his father, and his son are supposed to be in Georgia by now for a fishing trip. Instead, they spent the night with an estimated 200 other people stuck on Interstate 65. At least we had heat. I did get five gallons of extra gas, so if we need it, I've got it. And we're running low. I mean, we were, the truck's been running since 1230 when we got stuck in this stuff. The Baileys, who are from Michigan, weren't stuck in the snow, but they couldn't go anywhere because some other cars and trucks about one mile ahead were. What did you guys do to pass the time? Well, we dozed off a little bit, but mostly just talking and watching everybody. And every now and then you see somebody walk by and you'd ask some questions on the way back. Road crews have been working through the night and all day to free stuck cars. Check out this Jeep pulling a semi. Each time they free a vehicle, a few more are set free. Scott Cook of Glasgow was picking up his wife Janine from work when they became stuck around 9.30. Living off of whatever we had in the car. <laughs> you found all kinds of food you didn't know was in the car. <laughs> what have you had so far? Oh, I don't know. Water, uh, peanut butter crackers, whatever you can find. A couple Triscuits. Triscuits, a couple cookies here and there. While we were talking to the cooks, a trucker came and dropped off some drinks and a snack. Setting up there in the silver car. <laughs> Y'all want something to drink? Appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Would you like to have some of these? Cooks say people have been helping each other out. You know, we had some food. We had some yogurt, but we gave them to the little kids that were, we're in the car We're in a car behind us. us. There were four children in that car behind us, and we made sure the National Guard came and picked them up. People say it's been an experience to remember, but they'll be happy to move on. As we see dry pavement, no snow. All our worries are gone. Just hope on the way back, it's, it's clear. And things are much better here on southbound I-65 than they were this morning. But road crews still have a lot of work to do, so they're asking people to stay away from this stretch if possible. On Interstate 65, Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. All right, thanks, Mark. It is a mess on 65. You can see the trucks slowly starting to move. This is a live look at the, the traffic. It's backed up. It's about a 20-mile stretch where they got them shut off. It's now starting to move just south of Joe Prather, uh, and it's backed up all the way to the Brooks exit. That's about 20 miles, but then when you get down around Munfordville, it's still a mess down that way. 65, just been a, this, this storm really dumped on there, and those hills getting up into E-Town caused massive problems, but the good news is it's starting to move, Vicki. That's, That's right. Not too good. often do you get to stand in the middle of I-65 <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and do a, a report, is it's it? It's kind of like the river, the Ohio River freezing exactly. and people being able to stand on that. Yeah, Unbelievable. Exactly. I'd hate to have been in that. Well, the city of Louisville saw 